Washington was first in war, the first among our presidents. Next Adams, his vice president, as leader took up residence. The people turned to Jefferson because their cause he pleaded. James Madison and the British War of 1812 succeeded. Next James Monroe, who did bestow an air of good feeling. And John Q. Adams followed him for extra power appealing. When Jackson won at New Orleans, the voters said we need him. Then he arranged for little Matt Van Buren to succeed him. Typical news stayed one short month, oh William Henry Harrison. John Tyler finished up his term, but there was no comparison. Next Mexico was challenged by James Pope, who took in Texas. Then General Zachary Taylor won, but slavery did vex us. When Taylor died, Mill Fillmore tried, but never took his place, sir. And Franklin Pierce met troubles that he really couldn't face, sir. Bachelor Buchanan found he hadn't what was needed. So they called on A. Babe Lincoln, and the southern states succeeded. Lincoln won the Civil War, but then a bullet reached him. Andrew Johnson took his place, but Congress near impeached him. We next elected U.S. Grant, whose friends got busy stealing. Then Hayes, who wasn't bad, but won by wheeling and by dealing. Brave Garfield then presided well till Quito got too nervous. Then honest Chester Arthur came with rules of civil service. Next Jersey Clover Cleveland tried to help the Indian nations. Then Harrison brought six new states, but Indians got short rations. Cleveland then was 24th as well as 22nd. And though McKinley humbled Spain, assassination beckoned. Teddy Roosevelt shook a stick at trust to try to bust us. William Howard Taft came next and then became Chief Justice. Though Woodrow Wilson fought a war for peace, he kept on tolling. And Harding died of shame because his teapot dome kept boiling. Coolidge, silent cow, what took charge, never changed expression. Then Herbert Hoover came to town, and with him the depression. Roosevelt brought a brand new deal for terms in office winning. But Truman finished World War II, the Atom Age beginning. Ike Eisenhower took us from Korea without malice. The Peace Corps came with Kennedy, but he was shot in Dallas. The war in Vietnam so troubled Johnson, he retired. Then Nixon wooed the Chinese, but resigned least be be fired. Next Gerald Ford was sandwiched in, then George's Jimmy Carter. But hostages and economics made his efforts harder. Ronald Reagan led us well, but debt went through the ceiling. George Bush went to the White House, and the Soviets went reeling. Bill Clinton won the office next, they called him a go-getter. His second term was stormy, but it seemed that times were better. Two hundred years and more have passed since Washington's election. We haven't done too badly in the process of selection. The people choose a leader and then tell them where to lead them. And somehow we keep traveling on the road to peace and freedom.